Hey everybody, Iron here, and today we're playing the Trans-Siberian Railway Simulator Prologue. Now, this isn't to be confused with the demo, which was a little bit shorter. This is actually new and has some more content to play. So we're going to jump in here and see what's new and have some fun. As you can see, we're back in the land of snow and cold. Doesn't look like anything major has changed here, so we'll head over to the shop. And there's our good buddy, our old comrade, reaching back out to us. Congratulations getting back on the railway. So it looks like they've been holding the railway posts for us. And they're going to pay us well for every completed assignment. So I guess for a conductor that works for an organization, maybe cry, maybe mafia, I don't know at this point. So we'll let him ramble on here for a second. It looks like this is going to be just the same old, same old tutorial that we've done before. Oh, beer seller's excited. So we should probably grab a couple of these. Oh, tutorial won't let me. Telling us about the, uh, our money and how cold it is. Okay, there we go. Now we can buy some beer. All right, so we'll stock up on that because the last thing we need to do is be sober while we're driving trains. And we got the Sprats once again. Still don't know what these are. Probably should have looked them up from last time, but I did not. Uh, flashlight and Chainsaw. I don't know if we're going to go on any Massacre of Rampages. Uh, we'll find out here soon enough. And stocking up on some fruits and milk. Very odd that milk's one of the choices. No water, but milk. I don't know if that's a weird thing. I don't know. Could be cultural, could not be. And we'll stock up on carrots. Literally just putting a salad in our backpack at this point. All right, click on that. Check my inventory. Okay, there we go. Just wanted to kind of get that off my uh, screen there. Onions are cheap today. Only 50 cents. And we'll grab a knife and some bread too. We'll need the knife to cut the bread. All right, and then what we'll do is we'll... Head on over here, and we'll check out the doctor's office. Oh, oh boy, he's drunk, <laughs> but he left his sausage for us, so we're good to go. All right, and then let's head over to the mafia shop really quick, because I want to grab some stuff out of there. All right, so after a little trot down the snowy lane here, we're grabbing some celery. And there's a person just sitting here. We'll leave him be for now. No reason to bother him. And we'll head on down, talk to the Mafia boys, see what they're up to. Now I'm heavily considering murdering them. But at the same time, I don't know what's different about the demo compared to the prologue. I don't know the differences. So I think I'm actually going to be merciful this time. Yeah, it's talking about loyalty. Yeah. We'll just buy everything for now. Who knows? Maybe it'll help us down the line here in the prologue. And just stock up on ammo and whatnot. And then we'll actually head, make our way up to the locomotive. All right, here we are. Our beautiful train. We're back to our baby here. So this is probably going to be the same as the demo when it comes to getting everything up and running. So it'll be a little bit quicker and easier this time for me, at least. I don't remember everything, but I do remember some things. All right, so top right is the nearest important point. So you can see up there, railway signal, shop, mafia, shop, bar. The bar being the most important thing. All right, so it's talking about how do we go into inspection mode. So we'll hit the E on the mirror. And then what we'll do is we'll press the T button to take a look. And you can see our speedometer is actually at zero durability. So we won't be able to see how fast we're going. All right, so we got to flip that out. What do we need to do? We need to grab this wrench. And then we need to fix our inventory. We won't need this stuff for now, at least. So we'll just put it in our backpack. All right. Climb on up. A little tight with the doors open, but that's okay. 
There we go. Let's get these all unscrewed. All right, now we can get rid of this old speedometer. Don't need this anymore. And we'll throw this outside. Where's the, oh, the new one's on the other side. That's my fault. All right, grab that. And we'll climb on up back in here. There we go. Oh, oh, there we go. All right, all right. We'll get them in there. When you're a conductor, you got to be able to do everything. Oh. oh, I thought I finished that. That's my fault. There we go. Sell use parts at the scrapyard. Okay. Well, we threw the speedometer outside, so it doesn't matter. All right, we need to find the small compressor. So that's going to be over on the other side, I think. Yes. Yeah, not there. I forget what that switch is. I think we got to hit it, though, for something else. All right, here we are. Compressor. All right, flip that on. All right, we got to run back to the front and turn the radio on. And that'll just give us updates from our comrades. All right, we got coal, wagons... That have to go to Nova Sibirisk, Glavin, Glavni. Oh boy, I hope I didn't butcher that. <laughs> Please excuse me. All right, so that's the uh, dispatch orders. You don't have to press that call button again. Um, so let's see. We need to get the pantagra the power on. And it's saying here that one and two raise them and wait for the reach the electric line. There we go. And we got to turn the heat on to maintain uh, the temperature. All right. Uh, so we want to keep the doors closed so it stays warm here, <laughs> given that it's negative. It was negative 10 when we turned the heat on. Close the doors and let it warm up. All right. The main reservoir is filling up. Uh, some about 4 km or something. I'm sure the game will tell us when something's wrong. All right, we need to reset the KVC and then turn on the BV1 and then reset that as well. All right, so it looks like the lights are all off. That should be off, which means I think we're good to go. Yep. Yeah, those are on. Oh, there we go. What's uh, engine cooling, low speed. Okay. And then we need to work on the brakes here. Oh, there we go. The brakes are released, and we need to switch the main brake handle to release and charge. And that'll work on the brake lines. That'll get uh, filling up. I don't know. Is it a fluid or is it air? I don't know. Uh, we can't do pressure too long, so we actually got to uh, drop it down. And we actually got to drop it even more. I really wish I understood this. I wish there was maybe a little more of a uh, thing that's like, hey, you know, here's supplemental knowledge of what you're doing and trying to figure out here rather than just saying like, hey, don't let it go above 5.2. Keep it at 4.5, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, let's see. Uh, main brake handle to release and charge. Okay. So we've got to turn on the VU switch. That's up above our head. I remember that one specifically. That one got me last time. All right, we need to signalization direction to the forward position. Now, I think that what it tells us is that the working direction of the signals, I think, so. But it's so weird that we have to, okay, here it is. So, yeah, oh, we're telling it which direction we're going. Okay. So, let's see. No, that's backwards. That's forward. Okay, perfect. And then, what do we need to do? Left panel in the cabin on the first section. So, I think that tells it that this is the front now. Tension control system. Oh, yeah, this bad boy goes off every randomly to make sure you're alive basically. 
All right, so we're going to go through the light system here. Now, this one got me last time. Uh, they all have different meanings. They should actually hover over them. They tell you, which is nice. Um, and the last one is basically they don't know what's going on. All right, so we got to go back to the other side here. And, oh, go inside. All right, panel lock key, and then we need to do the blocking handle, so we need to release the brakes, basically. Now, I believe those are hand brakes, um, so if you're stopping the train and getting out for a long time, I think you just put those on as a secondary brake so nothing happens. Oh, got stuck behind the door. All right, there we go. Right, let's close the door. Then we need to flip this into M. So, oh, that's MR. There we go. There's M. And then we'll flip this to one. Did two by accident. And if we do too much, that little white light on there will come on. So basically we have to slowly speed up. So we'll get moving forward here in a second. Actually, I'm going to break the rules a little bit and just slam it forward. All right, put it in nine. And actually get us going pretty quickly. Now, we got a yellow light here. Same way that we can't go above, what is it, 40? Which isn't a problem. It's going to be a quick uh, get up to the thing, stop, switch it, and back up. Just getting some air in here. And then take a look around. And I can see there, that's all the railroad cars that we have to drag around. So that's going to be fun. Oh, geez, we're coming up on the switch here pretty quick. So, yeah, I probably should lower that. All right, put all that on, and then we need to hit the brakes. Which, I guess I'll just do this one for now. So we gotta wait for the train to stop now. Slowly but surely, it's gonna go down. <laughs> I promise. All right, and now it's gonna hit the zero mark. So we can run outside now. Flip the uh, switch here. Not too far of a run, thankfully. All right, so we're here at the switch, so we'll go ahead and flip that over. And it's turned around, so the tracks will go to the coal things now. So now we got to hustle our butts back over here and reverse the train and couple it up. See the construction workers walking, or the train workers, I should say, just casually walking by. I got to wonder, it's so lax around here. To, how many accidents happen? That's a scary thought. All right, uh, so let's see. You've got to slap this in reverse and take the brakes off and throw this in the one. And we're going to break the rules a little bit. So now we have to back this up all the way to the coal cars here. Now we're pretty much there, and we're, I think we're going slow enough. So We'll just kind of bump into this and be good to go. Yep. There we go. Perfect. I am the master conductor. All right. So he's saying we need to go uh, disconnect these uh, at track one, platform six of Nosibirsk Galavni. Again, please forgive me. I'm not that great at words or anything. All right. Uh, trying to hit the brakes here. Why won't it let me? Oh, because of the tutorial. All right. Uh, all right. Okay, so service braking one. And it says it's the most optimal way. It's very gentle. And then emergency braking. It's the hardest, but it drops the pressure the fastest. Okay. So I think that braking is for if I have something attached to me or not. That makes sense. 
It's not locomotive. So we should be good to get moving then. The problem is I keep forgetting to hit the tutorial button right here. There we go. So we'll put this in one. And it, once again, it's reminding us about the white light that if you slam it into speed too fast, then it just goes white and gets mad. So let's see here. It's yellow, but we can bump it up pretty high right now. And you can't press the X button to sit down, but it doesn't actually sit you in a chair. It just kind of crouches you. So it, it's really more of just a, how does, if you want to feel like a true train conductor or if you just want to play game. So I'm pretty hungry and thirsty here, so I should probably grab some stuff. And I'm a little hungover, so I'm actually just going to grab a beer this time. Hopefully no one really sees or cares. Oh, I did see somebody out the window. I'll turn this way. They won't see me when I'm... Oh! I think I'm past them. It doesn't matter. All right. And we're eating food. So it seems like we're pretty good. Now slowly but surely we'll kind of get this bad boy up to speed. Hopefully. Oh, there we go. We can get going a little faster. Oh, yeah. just realized that the train was honking. I don't know if he was honking at me or what he was doing. Oh, we're gaining speed. We're gaining speed. I like it. It looks like the delivery point's about 8.5 kilometers away. So hopefully we can get up to speed pretty quick here and get over there without much issue. Oh. So I can keep slowly bumping this up, which is nice. Uh, this is saying 40 kilometers still. So we're under that. No concerns just yet, I guess. All right, brakes are okay. Just making sure I'm not holding one of them on like half pressure. Yeah, last thing I want is to have one of these applied without even realizing it. Okay, I'm kind of worried about my speed. So I'm going to drop it down and kind of hold just in case. Haven't hit the whistle button or the horn button yet. Jeez. All right, so it's green now, so we can actually bump up and keep going. And looks like we're going to get ready here to merge onto the main line. I don't think there's anything I need to check back here. Nah. Oh. Oh, button. Got to hit it. Make sure I'm paying attention. I am. I'm here. I'm alert. I have not been drinking beer. All right. Now, actually, we'll put that away. I meant to grab milk because I'm thirsty. Oh. One thing that's kind of weird is that when you select it, you don't use your left mouse button. You uh, use E. That's kind of weird. You would think that you select it and then just hit the mouse button. Oh, hit the horn and whistle in case there's any kids back there. Watching the train go by. And kind of curious. If I open this up, does it start cooling down? Oh. It does. Oh, you can see it getting colder. Oh, we'll close that then. Alright, uh, let's see here. It's reminding me that when I lower the power, I have to restart stuff. So now this is near the end of where the demo was. Um, so this is where you handle having to switch stuff off and turn it back on and restart stuff. And I'm really unsure why. It doesn't really specify why. Maybe it's the wires or something. They disconnect the wires. We'll see. Alright, still good to go. Got the greens. Alright, now it's saying here, prepare to lower them. And it's, you can see it flash in the top and then the instructions are saying to as well. So you might uh, be, you know, like jumpity and start flipping them now, but you're actually supposed to wait. Now I'm actually lowering my speed a little bit. There we go. And now we actually lower them. Now I don't know if that's because, oh, I, <laughs> I whistle up my buddy. Oh, I heard him whistle back. Um, so I don't know why you do that. I don't know if it's a thing when a tr you're passing trains on parallel tracks, if you're supposed to do that. Um, 
But now I'm just kind of waiting for the instructions to flip them back on. And you can see it's actually this blue sign coming up. So go ahead and flip those back on. Now, do we restart stuff now? It's not giving us instructions to restart anything, and my lights are still on. Uh, give it a second. Maybe it's waiting. Uh, well, that stuff went away, so we'll go ahead and restart everything. There we go. Looking good. All right, so... Oh, I see yellow. Oh, okay. What's up, bud? Rival groups. We must show them that we will go as far as needed. What does that mean? All right. A lot going on. I have to slow down. Um, okay. Set that off. The railway bridge is key to logistics for the group. Smuggling guns, drugs, and money. If we knock it down. What is going on? <laughs> Why are we talking about knocking down bridges all of a sudden? Uh, okay. I don't know. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see here. The third one's lit up, so that means I need to slow down a lot. Actually, I think that means I need to stop and wait, doesn't it? All right. So we'll slowly bring the train to a stop. Yeah, last thing I want to do is get in trouble for not stopping. So there's a railroad signal that I need to stop before. And we're slowing down. Brakes at 100. Handles at zero. All right, we're about stopped. All right, and we are good. So we'll flip this back. We'll leave the locomotive brake on for now. And I guess we just wait. I don't really know. All right. There's a train coming up. We'll see what happens. I kind of bumped it forward a little bit here because I just got tired of waiting. But all right. Oh, I got the green. Okay. And there's a train coming this way. So I guess it means that there's a one lane track up ahead. So... I guess when it says that it's stop, we need to stop and wait, it really means that we need to stop and wait. And I just got to wait for the train to come through to get going forward. All right. He's fully past me, and we're gaining speed again. Yeah, it's, it's weird. I, I don't... We'll have to see what's coming up ahead of us. While we're waiting, let's actually take a look here at the brakes and the wheels. Okay, these are yellow, but they're, 90, they're 97 and 98%, which is really high. I wonder why they're showing me as yellow. You know, I think that something like that would just be like a green or stay green or something. All right, trying to gain some more speed. Go back here. That's actually cold back here. Oh, it's real cold. Oh, geez. All right, so there's the coal that we're hauling. It's super cold back there. Uh, let's just close all these doors off in case there is some kind of heating. Mechanics that spread heat around. Oh, I'm stuck again. Love getting stuck behind that door. Oh, okay, so Nikita's waiting for us. He said he has explosives. Oh, my God. Why are we picking up bombs? Uh, that's gonna be weird. Um, okay. Are we, I guess we are in a gang or something. But Nikita is up here. Um, so let's see. We're going almost 60 kilometers an hour. Yep, just crossing this track. I do find it interesting that they put in one-lane tracks and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Uh, that means I thought about kind of how the logistics will work for trains and stuff like that. 
All right, uh, we're coming up on Nikita pretty fast here, so I'm going to slam, get the brakes going. Oh, forgot the locomotive brake. Yeah, we're just kind of 100% it. All right, he's coming up here, and I need to stop. Uh, <laughs> uh, sorry, sorry, bud. I'm just going to fly by you here. Let's just, uh, uh, nope. Yeah, let's just emergency break it. Uh, geez, it is barely slowing down. Okay, wow. Okay, this is taking a really long time. <laughs> I didn't realize it takes this long to slow a train down. For future references, uh, start if you're going way too fast on a train, start braking way earlier than you think you should break, or else you're going to be slamming into emergency braking mode. All right, uh, we're almost to the stopping point here, and we're good. All right, so we'll put these back in service, and leave that break on. All right, now we got to hoof it all the way over here. Um, uh, let's grab my gun just in case. I don't know what's going to happen, so... We'll have this ready just in case we need it for any reason. We'll actually make our way down here. Now, I'm kind of hoping we don't get jumped or anything like that, but at the same time, I wouldn't be surprised because it seems like we're already doing some really shady stuff. All right. Uh, Nikita is over here, and then we'll... I don't know what we're going to do with the bomb. I guess we'll have to go deliver it or something. All right, let's go talk to him and see what he says. Hours, days, and weeks as a pyrotechnician. Oh, okay. And so we're just hiring some guy that helps concert, help bands at concert shoot off fireworks. But he's making us bombs, apparently. All right, so he gave me the bomb. All right. Sounds good, yeah. I'll be a professional. Let's hop back on the train then. Wait. He wants us to plant the explosive on the bridge? And we have 15 minutes to do it? Why are we putting bobs on the bridge? Uh, I don't know. This is... Okay. We are here at the bridge, and... I can't believe I'm saying this, but we're going to blow up a bridge. And... Are we, why, uh, I get, it. he's trying to say that people are smuggling stuff, but who's authorizing this? All right, so we'll put this on here and, uh, oh, yeah, that's in seconds. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we got to get out of here. Uh, I hope I'm far enough away because now I'm seriously scared. <laughs> I don't want to blow up. All right. How much more time until this goes off? It's going to be a while. No, maybe, we'll, maybe it's not going to go off? Oh. Oh. Oh, sh Do you see that go fly by? Oh, my gosh. Are we the bad guys? I think we're the bad guys. I don't know. Okay, we just literally blew up a bridge. Um, how do we even get back? Okay, the package has blueprints for making bombs. Give it to Boris at the train station. Oh, what have we gotten into? Um, all right, let's just get back to the train for now. And we're at the train. Let's hop in. I'm still very confused about why we're blowing up bridges. Like, I get that we're maybe part of a gang or something, or a, the mafia, but I'm just a train conductor. Like, why am I blowing up bridges? We're just going to act super casual and get back on our train and head to the next city. All right. Uh, everything is... The brakes are good. All right. And we're moving forward. All right. Uh, now I hit the emergency brake, so 
Let's see here. These are bearings. It doesn't really seem to have damaged my brake stuff too bad. Oh, what's this? Oh. Why are my heaters at 50 below 50% durability already? That's 86. Oh, the bar is 96. I guess just using it wears it out. Um I don't want my heaters to break. Where's the heat button? Uh, heating. All right, we'll just flip these off for now because I don't. I want to have heat in the future. I assume this can hold some heat. I'm so confused. All right, let's let's just hurry up and get to this city <laughs> because I don't want to deal with a cold train. All right, we're closing in on the area where we need to dump off these cars. So I got to flip this switch and then bring the train over into the area. So we'll hit that. Everyone's just kind of standing around staring at me. I wish they would hit the switch for me. Now you can actually see up there, there's like a red... Let's turn around here. Yeah, you can see it. There's like a red area over there. I think that's where we got to put the whole train. Okay, so let's get in this bad boy and we'll figure everything out. All right, then we'll hop in here. Oh, close the door. Oh, it's freezing in here, but I don't want to break my heaters either. <laughs> uh, no one's complaining about the cold, so we'll keep going for now. All right, uh, everything's set. I'll right, we'll kind of get this up to speed. And slowly make our way there. All right. And we are finally almost done getting this train in here. Inch by inch. And we have done it. So slam on the brakes. All right. Turn that off. Slam on the brakes. Put this down to... Oh, not emergency braking. No. Just do some service braking. And we are officially stopped. Nice. All right, put this back in the service. And we'll head outside and decouple. Oh, the damn attention control button. All right. So we just need to decouple this. And well, I guess we'll just leave them there for now. All right. Hey, 500 bucks. I'll take that. That's pretty easy. All I have to do is drive a, a train. All right. So what is next for us? Uh, let's close all this up because we're going to be heading over to see Boris. Uh, he's over here. I just want to take a look at my train, though. It's beautiful. You really can't beat a train like this. It's it's tough and reliable, and I feel like we're going to be swapping parts out of this constantly. <laughs> I mean, eventually, is it the same train if we change all the parts out? I don't know. All right, uh, so let's head over here and see Boris and see how my man is doing. Apparently, we got to take a package to Boris, and I think it has blueprints for bombs, and that's that's scary. That's real scary. <laughs> All right. Now, I'm looking around here, making sure there's no trains about to hit me. And I'm also noticing everyone's just kind of standing around. No one really seems to be moving. I don't know if it's because they live in a, a land of snow with barely any sun. Or are they waiting for the trains? I don't know. All right, Boris is in here. Oh, geez. All right, I couldn't get in with only one door open, so I assume I'm really fat. <laughs> because that's embarrassing. I couldn't even turn to the side and get in. All right, here's Boris. All right, Boris is a bad person. So are we. All right. Uh, let's see. He needs the package. Uh, it's, yeah, it's in my inventory. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. Here you go, Boris. Oh my gosh. He's a bad person. And so are we. But well, we're getting 500 bucks for it. So, hey, no complaints here. Oh, okay. It looks like that's the end of the prologue. Um, 
a bummer. I was really hoping there's a uh, a little bit more, but I'm not mad at the same time. I understand it's just a prologue. Um, so wow, what a fun game! I can't wait for the full release. This prologue just even makes me want to jump in even more and more and see how this game is as a whole. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Please, if you enjoy this comment, like, subscribe, toss a comment on there. Anything kind of helps uh, keep me going and getting these videos out. Uh, once again, thank you so much, and please have a great day. Bye.